Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jedi Night's Watch. My name is Graham, and yes, this is the video you've all been waiting for, I'm sure. And it is my last Hot Toys collection tour of 2021. Now it's been probably about seven or eight months since I've done my last collection tour, and the collection has changed a lot since then. I've added a lot of figures, and unfortunately I've had to part with some other figures as well. I actually just had a pretty big change in the collection the last week or so, where I kind of decided that I really wanted to focus on Star Wars, DC, and Marvel. So I did kind of let go of some of my one-offs, like my Terminator figures, my John Wick, I did get rid of my Spider-Man homemade suit just because I don't need two Spider-Man figures. Um, amongst maybe a couple others that I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I am going to try to keep my Game of Thrones and probably my Predator figures. Uh, just because, well, I have three or four of them and uh, I really like them a lot. So, not willing to get rid of those quite yet. But hey, I needed to make room. This is probably going to be my last collection tour before my Maju cases come in. I was reassured by Brian from Maju Case that it would be quarter one of 2022. He actually had four units of the eight that I'm supposed to get, and he said he could send those to me, but I'm like, well, I'm switching over my whole display, so it really doesn't make sense to do it unless I can do the whole thing, so I'm gonna wait. But uh, I wanna do one last uh, collection tour before the end of the year. I am gonna get another handful of figures for Christmas, and I'll show you those, but uh, yeah, I always like seeing everybody else's collections out there, so Hopefully you enjoy the same thing, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, let's get a look at the figures individually here. On the first cube, we have Anakin Skywalker Dark Side. Newer figure that I just got not too long ago. And another new figure is the Rogue One Darth Vader. I actually just reviewed this figure. So if you want to check that out, you can up here. In my opinion, this is the best Darth Vader there is. But would love to hear what you think as well. Going down to the next shelf, we have a great looking trio here, Boba Fett, Han Solo, and Chewbacca. They look great together, classic Star Wars. The Boba Fett is awesome. Every Star Wars fan needs a Boba Fett. And the Han Solo has actually done really well too for being an older figure. The head sculpt looks really good. He's even got that scar on his chin. Awesome. The Chewie, I was on the fence for the longest time because, well, you know, he could be better, but he looks good. Is he perfect? No, but he does look great on the shelf, especially when you're a couple feet away. And down to the next shelf, we have a little bit of a Mandalorian Rogue One trio. We have the Scout Trooper on the left, and this is my favorite style of, of Trooper out there. And he's all dirty and weathered. We got Baby Yoda celebrating Christmas. He's in the Christmas mood, and stoically standing behind him is the Mandalorian. A great figure. I'm holding out for the uh, Chrome version as well. 
And another newer figure that we have reviewed, we've actually reviewed all three of these, is the Shore Trooper from Rogue One, and it is the Scout Leader. Going down to the final cube, we're actually going to mix in a little bit of Game of Thrones from 3-0. 3-0 has been knocking it out of the park with a lot of these Game of Thrones figures. I think the likenesses are great. Their quality of clothing and outfit material is also top-notch. Love this little Tyrion guy here. They, look at that. That just looks like Tyrion. It's awesome. The Night King. Look at the head sculpt right there. Great figures. The females have been a little hit or miss on how well they are, but these guys for sure look great. And in the next shelf we have the Emperor along with two Return of the Jedi Stormtroopers. If you don't have an Emperor in your collection, you need to get it. His price, I know, is getting pretty high, and this one does have the throne, but he is a staple in any Star Wars collection. And these Stormtroopers are, again, from Return of the Jedi. They have those cool emerald-style lenses, and they look great just having the Emperor's back. Down below that, we have Return of the Jedi Luke with the prequel Phantom of the Menace Yoda and Sideshow R2-D2. This Yoda looks great. The likeness is awesome. He looks super real. I love the, the rooted hair. This R2-D2 is not the greatest. The Sideshow one is pretty flimsy and floppy. The dome isn't as nice as the Hot Toys one, but it does the trick. And then we have Luke with the Unreal Customs cloak here. Tried to do kind of a Mandalorian style with it, um, but he is awesome. And the cloak is really good too. And uh, we did paint that lightsaber. If you want to check that out, there's a video on how you can do that up here. To the next shelf, we have Empire Strikes Back Vader and Solo Darth Maul. Another great Vader. And he does actually have quite a few differences compared to the Rogue One. The dome does come off, which is really cool. And he is a great, great villain. And here we have Solo Maul. And he does have the Phantom of the Menace head sculpt on him right now. And I love these robotic legs. I think Hot Toys did a great job, and they are a work of art. Looking great together, Sith Lords. And to the next shelf, we have my Predator figures. Predator does not get enough love from the Hot Toys community, or from Hot Toys in general. In the middle, we have the classic Jungle Hunter from the movie Predators, but he works really well um, he looks just like uh, the original predator as well and then on the left we have the elder predator who is my favorite predator he has a great backstory and the city hunter on the right from predator 2 got him loose um, so I got a pretty good deal on him because his price is actually pretty high too but they all have like their individual looks which is great they all look the same but also are very identifiable so awesome awesome pieces Going on to the next Detoff, we start with our Marvel figures, and I don't think I've changed this pose since the last video I did, but I cannot bring myself to do it. These three were awesome together in Infinity War, and I just love how they look together in these poses. A uh, little Rocket here with his huge machine gun. Groot is one of my favorite figures. I love the detail in the body and in the head sculpt. And then this Thor is actually pretty good too. It's not a perfect figure, but I think it works really well. I love how the eyes are actually different colors as well. Going down to the next one, we have a uh, we have Gamora and Star Lord along with a little baby Groot. And this, I love this pose. I just did this not too long ago, but I think this really just shows off Gamora's personality, <laughs> especially with that resting biatch face she has. And then Star-Lord just kind of like clinging on next to her and she's not having it. And then, of course, who can forget little baby Groot down there holding that bomb. Don't hit that wrong button, Groot. All right, going down to the next shelf, we have Iron Man Mark Seven, along with the Black Panther from Captain America Civil War. This Iron Man, in my opinion, is probably the best bang for your buck. He comes with a ton of accessories. I love the color scheme on the deep red color, and the die cast is awesome. The Black Panther figure is actually my newest figure, and I'm working on a review of him right now. I am so happy with this style of Black Panther. He just looks badass. He is chunky and beefy, and I think the two look really, really good together. Going on to the next shelf. We have War Machine along with Nebula. And I tried to pair them to kind of when they were working as a team on Avengers Endgame. And uh, War Machine is not my favorite figure. 
He has a hard time standing up, and I have a hard time getting him into a pose that I really like. But the die cast, again, makes the figure really cool. And then Nebula, I think the face sculpt is spot on. And the figure is great. I love the outfit. The weapon, that gun is one of my favorite guns as well for Hot Toys. But uh, the two look great together, and I love the pose that Nebula's in. And the next Detolf, we're going to start on the bottom here because we have a couple more Marvel figures to dabble into. And this one is actually from the company Eleven, and this is Logan. And I like this figure a lot. He's reasonably priced. The head sculpt is, to me, Hot Toys quality. The claws are actually die cast, and then he comes with some pretty cool accessories as well. Uh, if you just look at him here, this, I don't know, this is my favorite Logan character, so I'm really happy with it. To the next shelf, we have Spider-Man, Captain America, and Black Widow, all from Avengers Endgame. If you want a Spider-Man, this one is the one I would recommend. The price is pretty reasonable, especially compared to the new ones that they have coming out, and he's available right now. The Captain America is probably the best one that we've had to date, and that head sculpt looks awesome. Love the outfit on that one as well. And Black Widow loading up her pistol, another pose that I'm pretty pretty happy with, and she'll probably stay in that pose for quite a while. Still debating if I'm going to get the solo movie Black Widow, but there those three are looking awesome as part of the Avengers. To the next shelf, we go to DC and we go to Justice League and we have Nightmare Batman along with Justice League Superman. This is one of my favorite Batman figures. I love the different look. You're not used to seeing Batman like this. The coat is, I believe, six scale customs and it's pretty reasonably priced if you get it while it's in stock. It's only like 30 bucks. This Superman is my, my favorite style of Superman. I love the bright colors, the vibrant colors that really stand out on the shelf. And uh, those two look really good together. Up on the next shelf, we get into the Dark Knight trilogy a little bit. We have the Joker, the DX11, and then the Batman is the DX12 with the armory head and an Unreal Customs cape. That Joker is sick. He's actually got a Fire Toys coat on. I just like how that fits a little bit better. And uh, we have the clown mask there at the bottom. This Batman is pretty cool, but again, he takes some customizing to get him to look just right. And I think this armory head sculpt really sets the figure off. That DX12 head sculpt that came with it just does not do the trick for this guy, so he looks pretty sweet there on those steps. And in the final Detoff, we have the 89 Batman figures. This Joker is something else, especially for how old he is. Look at that realism there it is scary uh, just put him in this pose not too long ago too and he's probably going to stay in it for a while looks great and then next to him we do have the 89 batman with a jackson jew custom cape and for how old this figure is he does look really really good really really uh, realistic to michael keaton and uh he isn't posable but this is the pose for this batman figure anyways so you know you don't need to pose that one on to the next shelf. Here we have the Batman v Superman Batman along with Harley Quinn. And Harley Quinn is another favorite of mine. These are all favorites because I own them all, right? But look at the facial expression. This is a fun, fun figure. She looks great. She did awesome in Suicide Squad. Was probably the only bright spot. And then here we have Batman with a um, Jackson Jew custom cape. And this was actually my first Hot Toys figure so I don't think I'll ever let him go. Down below that we have Bane and Catwoman. These two have both been modified. We have an M34 body on the Bane here and I think it really brings him to life. That Hot Toys body was small. You could see all the joints. This one really brings him to life. And uh, I love that base too, really really good paint application. With Catwoman, the pleather was peeling, so I actually have done a couple videos that you can check out that um, how to restore, repair that. And we kind of went with like a suede fabric look, and I think it works. I think she looks really good. Still debating if I'm going to pre-order that newest one. And finally below that we have a Kit Bash Joker. He does have the Hot Toys coat and then a Fison body. And this head sculpt I picked up on eBay. 
I think it looks pretty good at certain angles, but he does kind of have a blank stare. Not sure if I'm going to keep this figure or not, or if I'm going to sell it. So, you know, he might not be in the collection for much longer, but we'll see. And finally, we have Thanos, who doesn't fit in the Detoffs, and I actually... I could adjust the shelves, but I'm just, it, my OCD, I need it all on the same level. So he sits out here for now until the Maju cases come, but he is great. Uh, I love this armored version. I, would I have loved the uh, battle damage version? Sure. But this guy looks great, so I think I'm going to hold on to him for a while. And just a little extra here for you. We have artwork from Dennis Baptiste. This guy is an amazing artist. He did all these himself, and he hooked me up. I have done a video on some of his work as well um, but just more work here to check out and we do have the NECA turtles there on the bottom amazing stuff there we have some hot toys light boxes in the office area why so serious and swinging over here we have the final figure in the collection it's the Han Solo in carbonite and this is plugged into the wall so that he can be on all the time and this is the way you gotta have him he's a great addition here to the desk. I love having them plugged in and looking at it. It looks really good when it's lit up and Sideshow did an amazing job. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. There is my humble collection that I've been collecting since the beginning of 2020. And uh, it's a lot of fun. I, I love doing this hobby. I love sharing it with you guys out there. So if you enjoyed the video, please give this video a big like, a subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that bell so you don't miss any new content coming your way. All right, guys, thanks again for watching, and until next time, stay safe out there, and we'll see you soon.